This is Matt for Into Boxing. Delighted to be joined by PBK, Josh Kelly himself. Josh, we're doing something a bit different because I know we've already caught up with you and done a bit of an interview, so we've put together a bit of a Q&A for you. Not too, not too mental, but um, we'll just have a run through. Right, first one. So we asked, uh, we asked the fans what, what they want to ask you, what they want to know, so we've mixed it in with a few of us on. So the first one is, why are you fighting in Newcastle and not Sunderland? Sunderland hasn't got the state. Sunderland hasn't got the indoor stadiums, so Newcastle's the obviously the closest place next to it. So yeah, that's the reason why. But if we get a massive fight in stadium, I like come on, come on, boys. That leads nicely onto the second question because someone has put, "Are you going to fight Troy Williams next? Troy Williams for next? Are you going to fight the Trojan?" He has been he has been down for purse bids. It is a fight I want, but. We got Saturday night to focus on first, bro. Do you know what I mean? Nothing yeah. opens up without Saturday night coming through. So I need to keep my eyes on that and that that continuously. Yeah. Connor Ben versus Chris Eubank. Who comes out on top? I want to say Chris Eubank, but it's a great watch. I want to say obviously Chris Eubank. Obviously. Why? It's just he's too big, too tough, too experienced. But it's great. It's, yeah, it's a it's a win-win for Connor. It is because he can go back down to 147, mm, can't 100%. Jake Paul, do you class him as a legitimate professional fighter now? Yeah, he trains like one. He's he's fighting legitimate. Well, is he? He's fight, this next guy is a legitimate boxer, isn't he? Yeah, Hassim yeah. Ratman Jr. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, he is. Dream boxing venue, apart from the stadium, I like. If you had to remove the stadium, I'd love to do Las Vegas, 100%. Team Mobile Arena. Team or what? Or what's the MG, the yeah, MGM? MGM Grand? MGM, bro. MGM's got so much. I mean, so much like history. It's unbelievable. Burgers, wings, and ribs. I know that's close to your heart. You can only pick one. What are you keeping? The burgers. Any particular type? Uh, double decker bus. One, bro. I'm a, I'm a burger. I'm a burger man. Hundred yeah. percent. Likewise. <laughs> what's the dressing room music you use to get pumped up to? Bit of Mariah Carey, something like that. <laughs> oh, lad, you'd think that, wouldn't you? No, I'm, I'm everything, bro, at the moment. I've got a lot of the baby, little baby. I've got a lot of these ones pumping through. It's a... Uh, it in a mood. All the babies. All the babies. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> How many fights do you feel you are away from world level, world title challenging? Not many, potentially three, four, maybe. If you could put yourself in any movie... What movie would it be? What movie would it be, James Bond? I knew Come you, on, bro. I knew you were going to say Come something like that. Who doesn't want to be James Bond? If you, if, me, you know if you're the I guy, had a few tell, answers in my head and I thought he's going to say me, that. Tell me you're a guy, right? And you, and someone comes up and you goes, you're the new James Bond. What are you going to say? Nah, I'm all right, mate. I go, fucking sweet. Where am I rolling this big... What's he, what's he drive? He drives everything, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? Aston Martin, I think. Right? Aston Martin, bro, do you know what I mean? Just driving it down. Mm -hmm. Everyone's fighting for that position. Imagine. PBK 007. <laughs> no, fucking <laughs> hell. Do yourself too serious sometimes, lad. You can't, can't you? Yeah. Um, what's the hardest thing about training camp? Just missing your family, your kids, your missus when you... Um, and every time, like, I'm lucky enough to be able to go back home, like, to, to me, to me Mrs. House in between sessions, um, obviously. But I'm missing everything with the kids. Like, when I come home from a night session, they're in bed. When I leave for the morning, they're gone mm -hmm. for nursery, for whatever. So, uh, just missing, the, missing them growing up um, is, is quite hard. Name your favourite other boxers, apart from yourself. Name three. Current or past? Current. Current. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney. Um, Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon. Oh, don't give him a shout out on this channel. No, I've got to yeah, see him I've next got, week. Got give it, give it for scratch him off right now. Well. Michael Conlon, Harlem Eubank, Abbas Peru. You got all the Kurt Walker, uh, Lewis Crocker, all the boys. Come on, boys, you got yous. I don't mind that, but let's not even make too much brush that ego up. Um, it's reported that Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are going to run this back from five years ago. Um, what do you make of that? And do you give Conor a chance of winning in that fight? No, I don't. Uh, 
don't I don't give no to be honest. But like these guys are just w- raking it in is like, what they are. We're saying, oh, what's gonna happen? Boom, boom, boom. Why are they doing that? But we be the f- we be the silly bastard sat there tuning in, paying for it. So good on them. Do you know what I mean? Will you pay for it? Hundred percent. I probably will. You know what I mean? I'm sitting there thinking, nah. Then I'll go. Fuck. I've got nothing else. To watch. Let me put this on. See if it's something ca- something amazing is gonna happen. And then oh, this is what it is. But it's it's making money, making sense for them. Absolutely. Right. One from Jack. Who's the biggest bandit on the golf course? Jack Shaw. Jack Shaw is the biggest <laughs> bandit on the golf course. He's got a whole 19 app which he like puts his scores in on. It doesn't. I don't know what he's he's playing at. Get yourself an official handicap and we'll play for some official money because I'm not playing for them Scottish notes you keep bringing down to the f- golf course. So you're king on golf course, do you beat him? Yeah, well, but, listen. But actually, stop, let's be truthful now then. Do I beat him? I've lost a few times because his handicap was like 36 and 35. How can I? Be, I've got to shoot the best round of my life to even get close to him, do you know what I mean? When he's, he's getting... He's, I'm sure he got a birdie when I was playing around. It was 32, off 33 or 32. Can't be doing that. I'd say... Fucking four or five points or some stupid like that. Just, just say, to clarify that the score's six one Jack. Why? When you when you get a legit handicap, that'd be an official score. It's coming down. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We'll have to get an update when you're next on the course. Look, Josh, um thanks for giving us some of your time, answering a few quick fire questions and good luck for Saturday. Thank you, my brother. Tune in everybody. Well, sh-